this was the model we have seen where we have applied force F and then we saw various responses but now we need to see the condition if there is no force and then how the system will behave so we can see here if I need to remove force F put it here F is equal to 0 so I need to remove the input one when I have removed my input so in that case this MUX signal routing will also be required to be removed and now for display I need to make some changes and then add it to here so my system is ready to see the natural responses of the system so first case if system is at rest in that case we can see that there will be no response you can see here you can see there is no variation in x and y direction so what we are going to see so to check the behavior of a system we need to define one initial state we place it either by stretching or compressing or some disturbance we need to set its initial condition after that we can see the responses how the system will come down to rest let's define initial state of the system here I can define it as 5 if I have written 5 here I need to change in C scope block also I can put minus 5 to 5 here now for a spring mass system I have set a initial state and after that when system will start from that state how it's going to behave that we are going to see here you can see that initially this was at 5 position after that it coming down and due to frictional or resistances it's not going up to its original position and due to damping effect also slowly it's coming to its steady state position where we are can see no vibrations similarly I can change initial condition to minus 5 also in that case we can see what are the changes Here. initially we press that and then sudden response after removal of force when initial state is defined here it's moving up and slowly all signals going to get its steady state 
even if if you are having any question you can ask